what's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how you can add a drive to an existing Hyper-V virtual machine. It's a little bit more complicated than you would think. Opening up Hyper-V, over here you can see I have a Windows 11 virtual machine. All you have to do is right click and click settings to open up the hardware settings for this virtual machine. We'll head across to SCSI controller, select hard drive, and then add here to create a new drive. All we need to do then is click new next to virtual hard disk, next, and we'll choose dynamically expanding in my case, but you can use these other types of virtual hard drives. Next, we'll give it a name, say test, and we can choose a place to store it. Usually I'll click browse to move it off my small Windows SSD and place it right next to the original drives for this virtual machine. I'll select folder here and next. Then we can set a maximum size. I'll choose maybe 64 gigabytes. Next and finish. Then when we're done adding another drive here, all we need to do is click OK and right click your virtual machine. This is where you need to make sure of something if you see it available. If you see upgrade settings version or something like that, an extra option which I can't seem to get back on any of my virtual machines here. Never mind, there we go. Upgrade configuration version. If you see this, you need to click it. Otherwise, your Windows 11 or whatever virtual machine will simply get locked in a boot loop. It'll say running and then stopping, running, stopping infinitely. You cannot stop it. And even after restarting your PC, you'll still be stuck. If you come across this in the description down below, you'll find this guide page here, which basically gives you the command that you can run, replacing the name of your operating system or whatever your virtual machine is, and you won't be stuck in this infinite boot loop like I was here. It was incredibly annoying. Anyways, now that we've upgraded, simply right click connect and we'll need to start up our virtual machine with start. There we go. I can sign in here and we're dropped into the main screen of our virtual machine. If I open up a new file browser and head across to this PC, you'll notice a distinct lack of extra hard drives. All we need to do is like any other brand new hard disk, we need to assign a partition to it and a drive letter. Hit start and type in partition, if you could spell and click create in format disk partitions. Then inside of this manager that opens up, you'll be asked to initialize your disk. Simply choose GPT or MBR, whatever you choose, click OK. And you should see on the list down here, a big wide black bar. This is the unallocated drive, whereas allocated spaces show as a blue. All we need to do is right click this empty spot and click new simple volume. Then we can click next, choose how big we want the volume to be, which is usually 100% of the maximum. Next, choose a drive letter, next, and we can give it a name here, say SSD. We can choose a file system format, allocation size, usually you'll leave everything as is, and then click next when you're done. Finish, and just like that, we have connected our virtual drive, and it should now appear in Windows as any other drive. We can open it up, interact with it as per usual, and to Windows it does look, as you would expect, exactly like a normal physical drive other than Microsoft Virtual Disk. Anyways, that's really about it for this quick guide. It's really simple. And of course you can connect drives from other virtual machines, etc. It's a powerful tool and this is how to use it. If you're connecting from an existing virtual machine or an existing drive, of course you won't need to allocate it once again. Using Partition Manager, you only need to do that once per virtual hard drive you create. Anyways, that's really about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno, we have a troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.